A rough start plays 60 yards downhill, the large kicker on the right. I play a pitching wedge into this hole, try and hit a low cut, get a good bounce off the slope. Here you can really see how far uphill it is. It's hard to share in pictures, but it really is significant. The original hole at BCN, the road hole, plays about 125 yards to a bisected green. The road's situated on the significant slope behind the green. You can get some good bounces off of, and there's Max. Tee box for the third hole is behind the white flag on the left as well. This hole gives us our first look at the ridge that really defines the property. Two big bunkers will be behind the screen. The most anticipated hole at Bruff Creek National, the Buritz Punch Bowl. The screen's going to require a little bit of engineering and quite a bit of dirt, but you can see how the ball will feed in and significant amount of elevation change. That brings us to the fifth hole, certainly the hardest on the course. Plays about 95 yards right over a creek to about a 25 yard landing area. The green's got a dry creek bed that runs straight through it, gives it a lot of character. We're going to massage it a little bit and see what we can make of it. The uphill Redan hole, 55 yards, par 4. You can see how the land naturally moves from right to left and the pin's actually in a collection area. It's like a bowl with a backstop and a kicker on your right. The ridge really defines this hole. Don't be short, the ball's going to roll all the way down to the bottom. Here's my attempt at trage, using the slope to my advantage. The finishing hole, named Icarito by the guys at No Lang Up, plays down a Barranca to the shared green with the first hole. The hill comes into play again here. If you can get it just over the bunker carved into the slope, you get a favorable bounce to the center of the green. If that wasn't enough, you can turn around, tee up a ball from the second tee box, hit one to the sixth green, settle up some bets. 